Previously on Infraspace. After JD became Plan B and terraformed Blas, he has been hired again to terraform a new planet with the added challenge of repairing a spaceship in orbit. Don't ask how JD gets himself into these situations, not even I know half the time. We made landfall and JD did what he does best, went straight into overproduction. One spaceport, no, two for JD. And I honestly expect there will be more in the not too distant future. He set up concrete production with again not one but two along with automated oxygen, water and food before moving on to steel production and finally considering science that the space domes are built. We are slowly shipping people from the ship to the surface and I'm sure the traffic problems have only just started for JD. Top news at four, traffic jam on Highway 1. G'day mate, welcome back to Infraspace with me, Jetty. In our last episode, well, we got our fledgling little colony up and running. We moved everybody into some space domes, we got some science up and running, we even got some steel up and running. And today's episode, I want to get science running. I want to get science running a whole lot better than it is currently because, well, it has no circuits. It has no circuits. There are no circuits whatsoever, so we need to do something about that. On top of that, we have a small problem of, well... I have a population of 306 and a housing of 306 and a jobs of 299 and um well that just won't do so we need to do something about that as well uh first thing we're going to be doing is going housing 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 that tab uh we're going to put in a basic habitat there and there and then we're going to shove the power pole over a tile and i'm going to shove that one over a tile as well and then we're going to extend that out to there we're also actually going to move the power pole back a tile and back a tile yes and bring our roads out a little bit further. Now, being a new series, I always appreciate it if you can, you know, throw some interaction on the video. Throw me a like, throw me a like, but let me borrow a like early in the video. If you don't enjoy the video, you didn't enjoy the thing, you didn't watch it all the way through, by all means, you can have your like back. But at the moment, um, we're gonna start with, well, a bit more, a bit more housing, just a tiny bit. And uh, they're all inside the power network? Seems to be, yes. Just. All right, next thing we're gonna do is, um, well, we need more oxygen. Now, what I wanna do is I actually wanna put the oxygen, well, all the way over here. I wanna get it away from the houses because I hear in the not too distant future, we're gonna get this marvelous technology called pipes, which I believe lets you move gases and liquids um, over long distances without the use of trucks, which I think is gonna be amazing for us. Actually, I wanna move every one of those already. Okay, I wanna put a second road here and into here. And yeah, I know, I know you know power. We're, we're, we're over that already. Uh, I wanna move these to this side of the road because I wanna put uh, oxygen first. Yeah. Just one or two of them. Yeah, and then we'll do water on this side. I want to not have to worry about this for a little while. Cool. Uh, power. We're going to throw a power pole in, um, well, from there to here. And then to there. And then to there. And, of course, there's always one that has to be special and not get power. Uh, can you get your own special power pole? There. All right, so that should fix the whole oxygen thingamajiggy, Bob. It's going to break the power problem. It's going to hopefully be able to ship oxygen fast enough. Uh, all right, next thing is wind turbines. Can I build, uh, actually, can we build a road from here out to, in a straight line, has to be a straight line, uh, out to here. Because I have some copper here, some iron here, some iron here, and some copper here. So I'm thinking the electronic circuits we were producing, I think I want to produce them over here instead. Uh, so with that plan underway, we're going to put a wind turbine here, and here, and here, and here, and that. Move closer. Move closer. Right. Uh, there, 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 and there. All right, we're going to put a power pole between those two and between those two and those two and those two. And then if I can plug this into the grid, we should be power positive. We are. Okay. Next thing's next. Uh, on to copper mining. So we're going to try and get as much out of this patch as possible, which is going to be awkward because there's some giant rocks in the way. Uh, we're going to put one here. 
that connects, that connects, and we'll put one in the middle of the patch. Okay, roads. Uh, can I get a road from there to there, plus a road there, and then we'll get another road around this side. Now, of course, this doesn't have power, which means power time. We'll throw a power pole there and uh, there. All right, so that's copper done. Uh, next is iron. Let's do the same. Uh, iron mines. So, uh, road comes along this tile. So let's go with iron, 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 lots of iron, more iron, uh, uh, as much iron, as much iron as possible. Sure. Uh, bring the road up to there, across to there, and power. Uh, actually, can I get a whole wind turbine? Can I get a whole wind, wind turbine? Uh, let's put that there with no, just the one pole. Yeah. And then we'll put a follow-up pole here and here. Okay. That should be enough to get us started at least. Okay. So with our starting plan up and running, we're going to get an electronics factory. And we're going to go with one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. What are the ratios? Okay, so it's 32 per... One every 32 seconds. Uh, you produce one every six seconds. So that's six, that's 12, that's 24, 30 seconds. So one of those does five. And I have four of these. So we can do about 20 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. 10. Sure. And can I get a road on this side? Okay, and then we're gonna do circuits. Uh, okay, we're out of concrete. All right, we've got a new project to do. Fix concrete. All right, can I get one power pole in there, power pole in there? All right. That'll get serviced eventually. All right, uh, concrete. So, concrete, I have, well, I have a problem with concrete. Concrete has, well, all these trucks coming down the same road, which is problematic, and it's probably going to slow down traffic. So, what we're going to do is we're going to move uh, our connection into the city over to here instead. So, we're going to build that road, and then slide the power pole one tile, and plug that in there. With that plugged in there, we're going to remove that giant section, and then this now doesn't have any traffic coming through it for, well, all the electronics and the other things that are being shipped over there. On top of that, we should isolate our districts, which I tried to play with and uh, failed last time. So we're going to put a new district. Oh. New district. New district right here. Uh, we're going to remove that. I'm going to remove that. And extend that out. Okay, so we move. Okay, clear mouse. Thank you. All right. Uh, no districts. I actually want that back. So we're gonna have iron. Remove. Oh, it's still two. Uh, the same district split in half. All right. Delete that district. New district. Okay. Iron. I'm gonna have iron ship from oh, there to there. I'm gonna have copper ship from there to there. That should keep these two isolated. Okay. Now, you can ship your stuff wherever you need to. Oop, helps if I don't put a hole in the middle of it. Uh, yes, Oop. pressing all the wrong buttons today. You can ship your stuff wherever you need to. Wherever you want to, I really don't mind, but that should keep this iron here, this copper here, rather than us getting iron shipped from, say, here all the way across the map. Also, I think a shortcut through there would probably do a world of good. All right. Uh, 500, 400, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. I haven't quite used all the houses yet. All right, so you guys need copper, which hopefully is coming from locally. Um, probably not, as... Is that road not straight? That road's not straight. The hole is off by top. Oh, boy. I do still like the fact that I can fix this. Okay. 
And then over here, I move you down a tile, you down a tile. You. Yeah. So you just reached level three. Cool. You happen to do that whilst I had a thingy in my hand. Right, move that to there, that to there, that to there, that to there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can slide down a tile. You can slide down, 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 and down. All right. Uh, about that. Uh, okay, you can go up a tile. 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 And I'm going to disconnect that and we're going to plug it in here instead. Okay. All right. One problem sorted. Next problem. Concrete. I ran out of concrete, so I want to fix concrete. So uh, we can see that you have uh, plenty of sulfur and plenty of sand in stock. You have plenty of each. You have no sand in stock. You have 38 sand in stock. You have two. You have two. And yet I have a lot of sulfur. So, we need more concrete machines. Uh, so, I'm going to slide the whole concrete depot over a tile. I'm also going to remove this. And... No, they're not doing a U-turn anymore, so we should be fine. All right, I want to bring the road here to here to here. Uh, we're going to put in uh, manufacturing, uh, like a concrete factory, here and here. Which means I'm going to want more... Sand mines, uh, we're gonna put a sand mine one, two, three, and let's shove you out of tile. And you have power, I'm pretty sure. And then back in here, and we're gonna go, nope, we're gonna go roads. Jedi, you've learnt your lesson, roads first. Otherwise you build stuff, and it turns out it doesn't connect. Uh, that should be fine. And then we're going to go concrete factory one two three quick double check you need one sand every 9.6 seconds and you make one sand every 12 seconds so i need a little bit more than um well one sand mine per one of these sulfur should be fine because we make a sulfur every 2.4 seconds so we're going to just throw in a few extras like so and hopefully that takes care of business uh, actually, I can put a sand mine in here. And can I move that power pole? I can. Can I have another sand mine? I can. I'll take it as a win. All right. So that hopefully speeds up our concrete production. All right. We have some science because you guys are no longer looking for green circuits, which means we're going to select the research. I'm going to go for improved wind turbine blades. So adapts the wind turbine. No. Yes. Uh, no, we're going to go for pipes. Pipes. We're talking about random technology in the past uh, that let us put fluids and gases in a storage medium that was not a truck. I think they're called pipes. We're going to go for that first. Also, um, well, population of a lot, jobs of a lot, and housing of not nearly enough. So we're going to extend this again. And one, two, three, four, and again. And power. If I put a power pole here... Yeah, and there, 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 that should cover everything. All right, uh, housing, can I get more basic habitations? Drag that through to there, and yeah, I don't like that. Uh, can I move that one to there, move that to there, move that to there, that to there. And then I can squeeze in two more. Plus, we can fit in this whole row. Thank you. All right. A lot more oxygen needs to be shipped over, but they'll get a hold of that sooner or later. Uh, we're almost out of concrete again. And you guys are making electronics. 75% efficiency because not enough people. But that's all right. We're going to just make the problems worse because that's my favorite pastime. Uh, just upping production by a little bit. All right. Can I do... No, they all seem to be running. Okay, they all seem to be running. You guys are short on iron. There is a lot of iron trucks being leaving right now. So I'm pretty sure that's going to take care of itself. We just need more of them. Okay, that should be enough to get us started. All right, on top of that, uh, eventually we're going to need more home appliances. Uh, it's going to be a given. And... Do we do that now or do we give it a minute? 
let's give it a minute. Uh, let's come up here and see whether we can crank out some more mines. Because we're going to need more iron. Do more household appliances anyway. So let's try and... No, no, definitely out of resources. Uh, can I drag my road through to there and into there? And I don't know where the end of the road is. There. It's hidden. Uh, it's buried under the iron. The only good thing is the iron doesn't run out. So, you know, it doesn't matter how buried it is. Uh, we'll just build a road right through the middle of it. Okay. Uh, power network. Everybody cooked in? No. Uh, can I build from there to there? Alright, so, we've got that up and running. Power is okay, right? Yeah, 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 we're okay, just. Alright, and there was also copper over here. Alright, so can we get this one up and running as well? Uh, copper mine. We want to go from... Uh, that tile, that tile, uh, that tile, that tile, that tile, and a concrete, that's fine. Just go over and build some concrete roads instead. Not that I can probably afford this either, that's okay. Roads are pretty cheap. Uh, build that to there, build that to there, and then let's bring that into there. Which then means more power, which means 50 concrete each. I can build exactly one of these guys. Oh, uh, power pole. Power pole. Power pole. Another one. And throw one there. Throw you in there. And now put a one, two, three. I think that's all I'm gonna get. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna get. It's fine. It's fine. Three more is great. Uh, can I bring that up there, into there, and then into there? Oh, a nice T intersection. Okay. Quick double check of the tra. Oh, food. Well, turns out um, they need more than just oxygen and water. Simple farms. That's probably enough to take care of it. I hope. Uh, I need 700 jobs. I have housing for 662. Now you see where the problems are. Uh, not enough workers. Yes, your factories don't run efficiency. Use the prioritization tool in the top left to do something. Statistics, visualizations, train lines, world settings. Yeah, I don't see prioritization in the top left. It's probably okay. It'll probably sort itself out. Buy ship. All right. Uh, as soon as the food's produced, it'll go in the houses. As soon as the food is produced, it'll go into the basic habitats, upgrade the habitats, and then we should be fine. Can I get you to please rotate correctly? Can I move you over? Excellent. And then I'll put one there instead. Okay. And can I have a road from there to there? And then... Uh, we should wait a minute for the housing to sort itself out. All right. We got access to pipes. Uh, no, we didn't get access to pipes. We're getting access to pipes. Uh, you have everything you need. You just have 50% efficiency. That's the problem. All right. That'll sort itself out in a minute. Okay. Whilst we're waiting for them to sort themselves out, concrete production. Because, you know... When you don't have enough people to work, uh, let's make the problem even better by upgrading, uh, not concrete, steel. Uh, yeah, can I put another one here? Okay, that's it. Right, can we bring out this to here and then into there? And power. Can I put a power pole there? And then on to actual turbines. Can I put some... Let's go with here. And here. And here. With a simple power pole in the middle. Uh, in the middle. And in the middle. Okay. So that should solve that problem. Uh, you need home appliances which should get shipped in eventually. And so I have housing for 600 and I only have a population of 500. So the issue is 
Immigration rate low. Average habitat level 2, required habitat level 2.3. So my issue is, things are not getting shipped in fast enough. Also, I built too much housing too quickly, which forced the average housing level down. Yes. And survival food... They're not running very efficient. Okay, do we have... That's what I'm looking for. We want... Food. Yeah, we're making a lot of food. Uh... Population, housing, immigration rates. Up, down. Okay, that doesn't help. Uh, can I see? No, no, that helps. I'm trying to see an incoming outgoing of food. Production overview. Aha. Uh, food. So, workers, 20 production, consumption. Okay, so we're making 50 and we're consuming 30. So, it's just a matter of time for that to correct itself. Yes. All right, so we just need the food to get to the places. Habitat upgrading in 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, upgraded, upgraded, upgrading, upgrading, upgrading. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, so that should mean... Average 2.13. Yep, so as the average goes out, up, 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 yep. As the average goes up, more people want to move in because more people want to move in. Well, we, we should, should correct these ratios. Should, should. Yeah. Don't hold out your breath, Judy. All right, next one is computers and parks, which requires more research, so we need to wait on research. I really want pipes, and you need sulfur which is being shipped from here. Uh, zero sulfur, one sulfur, two sulfur, one sulfur. Okay, turns out we need more sulfur mines. All right, well, even though our production might be in the hole, we will crank out more sulfur mines because I need that research. And bring the road from there to there to there. Uh, I'm lucky enough they all got power, I assume. Yep, sure. All right, and concrete production is going bonkers, but this is the part that I want to avoid. So, we're going to remove the whole road, and as we can see, they have a side road connection that came instead. Ah, uh, there we go, level three. But I want the road up front. So, we're going to put the road at the front, and we just need a truck to show up. Okay, they're still doing U-turns, but it's a shorter U-turn. And more importantly, you may see that the trucks are slowing down when they get to here. They're also phasing through one another. That's a whole separate issue. But the private little roads, the ones that come out of all the buildings, all the machines, uh, run at a much slower speed than the main roads. And that's something I can't do anything about. I'd like to, but I can't. All right. Uh, where are we up to? We're up to science. Okay, so science is... You have lots of materials ready to go. Okay, so actually... I wouldn't mind more science. Although it's not running efficient to start with, but you know, let's keep building anyway. All right, so let's put in two more of those. So then I can put in, move you back top, great. So can I put in a green science with a green science? And you know what? Let's put another green science for good luck. All right, so we now have access to oxygen and water pipes. Hooray! Because I obviously have an awful lot of trucks moving water and oxygen from this area over to... Nope, you didn't get power. Mm, power bulb. Uh, over to this area. Now, obviously I'd like to fix that. So that's going to be the first thing we do. We're going to go into the road section. We're going to go into pipes. And I have um, these two marvelous bits of technology. Oxygen pipes and water pipes. So what I want to do is I want to come all the way up the main road with a water pipe from there to there. Uh, we're also going to do the same on the other side. Just go from there to there in a straight line. Then, what I want to do is I want to, on one side of the well, the block, uh, run a water pipe from there to there. Then we'll do the same on this side. We'll go from here to here. And then here, oop. Here to here. And then from here to here. And then from there to there. Now, 
I want to take my water pipes and bring them all the way up to this line. Nope, that line. And run them all the way through here. Along with pick up the water pump I left in here. Also, steel requires water as well. So we're going to run that across to there. So the steel mills get uh, water as well. Also, we're spending steel to build all these pipes. Which means... Uh, why are you yellow? Whatever. Uh, we are going to, once again, even though we shouldn't, uh, we're going to find the right tab, that tab, steel mill. I'm going to whack a steel mill here, here, and here with a little bit of road. Can I go back to number one? Because we only have tier one road so far and build that out to there. All right, that's going to get iron locally. At least it should do. And we're also going to go with, where's our pipes? It's under the pipe section. Uh, water pipe. I'm going to bring that up to there and run that right under the main road so I'll get water. Okay. At the same time, I want to do the same with oxygen. So we're going to start over here. I'm going to run this all the way to here. Yeah, thank you. Now, I can uh, build a pipe under a pipe. The only catch is I cannot build over an existing intersection. Okay. So I'm going to bring out, uh, well, I'm going to bring the oxygen straight through to here. And then as long as I don't build over an existing intersection for the water pipe, they're on two different levels. So we can just build the oxygen pipe nice and simply like so. Uh, yeah, you're not going to connect there. But I can bring oxygen to a different spot down here. And oxygen to a different spot down here. And oxygen, I can't join there, but I can join there instead. All right, and then I want to go oxygen pipe. Yes, please. And oxygen pipe. Yes, please. And oxygen pipe. And oxygen pipe. Now, you see those little branches coming off? All these little branches plugging in all the little, little different buildings, which means I no longer have to ship them oxygen. I do need to ship oxygen into my steel mills, uh, which we're gonna run that pipe under there as well. As long as they don't end on the same tile, we should be perfectly fine. Did that not plug into you guys? You're steel, you need oxygen, right? Oh, you just need water. Never mind. It's fine, you get a spare oxygen pipe for that future when you never ever need oxygen, but it's fine. All right, we have access to some more green sites. There's some stacked up. So, let's look in here. We're going to uh, grab tanks. Tanks seem like the next thing. Water tank, oxygen tank. Just seems pretty simple. We'll just put in a couple of those. That way we can keep an eye on them. Make sure they stay full. As long as they stay full, everything's fine. We do have a giant power problem. Uh, power. Wind turbines. Okay, can I build a wind turbine? Uh, let's go with here here and here with a power pole there and there and there and we're back in the green except no you just need a uh yeah don't build on top of that uh you need to be plugged into the grid and then you can run as well unlock tanks so now we have an oxygen tank and a water tank which is great because i'm thinking uh water tank oxygen tank. i'm thinking uh water tank water tank i'm thinking oxygen tank one two three and then i'm thinking roads pipes yes please uh that's oxygen that's water okay so we're gonna build the water pipe to here so it plugs into both of them, oxygen to here, and into there, so it plugs into all three. And if we click on one, we can see inflow per minute, 96, and outflow per minute, 46. So um, I overdid it. Look, oxygen, yeah, oxygen's not nearly as high as I thought it might be. All right, but all the houses are upgraded. Uh, all the habitats are upgrading. They're all upgrading uh, to this level, and then we need a computer and a park to go any further. Also, I'm willing to bet our home appliance stockpile is decimated. It is. All right. So, we need to do something about home appliances, which did need more iron. So, we're going to go into you. And I'm going to go with uh, one, two, three, four, many, six, seven, eight. Shop. 
and power, none of them. Perfect. Can I bring power to here? And then to there. All right, let's put in tier one, bring that out to there. And then we're gonna go for uh, home appliances. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then immediately afterwards, uh, go with electronics. Uh, sure. Uh, power in the pooper, uh, housing in the pooper, jobs in the pooper, everything's in the pooper. All right, back into research. Can I get improved wind turbine blades? Uh, adapts the wind turbine blades to shape the atmosphere, leads to lower disturbance there, which lets you build wind turbines close to one another. Sounds great so far. All right, and that also means I need to come over here and go into housing. Housing, can I get another row? With another, another row. Um, guys, just because you're living next to the sulfur mine, don't worry about it. It's a feature. Don't question it. It'll be fine. Just don't breathe deeply. At all. Ever. Uh, can I go from there to there? Alright. And you need power as well, but I need to know where the sulfur mines are going to fit. So that would be one, two, three, four, which means I can definitely throw a power pole here somewhere. Research complete. All right, so we now have improved wind turbines. All right, we bring these up now. We can see the range is much smaller, which means I can squeeze these buggers close to one another. So can I put one there and one there? Uh, and I'll throw one in there. And you won't connect automatically. This whole road is going to need uh, you to slide to there, and then you to slide to, well, ideally right there, but it's not going to happen. Uh, can I, I put you there? Put your little power pole over there. Put you back over here. Uh, can I put you right where that power pole is? Uh, power pole. You there. Uh, can I bring you down and put you here? And you can come down and sit here. You can sit there. You can sit there. You can sit here. That power pole comes down here. Uh, you... Come on, come with me. Come with me. Uh, we'll go there. Let's put you there. Let's put you there. Uh, two little wind turbines are too close together. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm rearranging them bit by bit. Okay, you go there. Power pole there. Uh, let's put you out as the next row of wind turbines, which means you, sir, can go there. We'll put out, 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 power pole. Yep, there. And power pole here. Cool. We're making progress. We're tidying things up as we go. Uh, you can go there. You are fine where you are. I'm gonna put a wind turbine in here with a power connection in the middle. And let's plug you back in the grid. Okay. Uh, what have we researched? We researched wind turbines. Okay, can we grab some solar panels as well? Uh, you guys are missing copper, which... Oh, uh, there is some stockpiles. Not as much as I'd hoped. Alright, and... No, we're still climbing on housing, just... Uh, do I see any more copper? No. Or iron, not that that really helps me. Uh, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Back onto these guys. Of course. Uh, pipes. Oxygen pipe. Oxygen pipe is this row. And water pipe is... Come on. Uh, that row. Right, so you guys are all being supplies. Oh, food. 
Food! Uh, okay. Uh, what we're going to do is find the food button. It's that button. Simple farms. And come on. Done. All right. So we got food sorted. We've got population um, not really sorted. Sort of sorted. A little bit sorted. Uh, we got power sorted. So, you know, that's a thing. Uh, you have average of 2.96, required 2.74, so we're definitely getting there. We just need um, the spaceports to empty out people faster, a lot faster, and probably further expand this. Uh, also, oxygen, so water is fine, the pipes are maxed. Uh, inflow, outflow, so oxygen is going backward. So before I forget, because I guarantee I will, and then we'll find everybody moves out because um, they suffocated to death. Well, that was one of the options we gave them, suffocating to death or moving out. Okay, we evict all the worst people. All right, uh, we want to go with oxygen pipe. Now, can I bring you out to here and then through to there and then onto that connection? And that should, if any of you had power, solve my problem. Uh, can I put you there? Yes. And then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, there. Okay, so max rich. And one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's three power poles, which means it's odd. Mm, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's a lot of production up and running. It's a lot of wind turbines up and running. It's a lot of everything up and running. We're definitely getting there. We're also definitely getting research done. Not maybe as fast as I would have liked, but definitely a reasonable old pace. And we'll do better with me putting a wind turbine here and here and here with a power pole there and there. And, okay, we're in the green for power, at least. Housing, not quite, not quite. We, we, we are getting there, um, but we can always worry about more housing in the next episode. Research-wise, we've got a couple of green researchers uh, knocked out, and the traffic doesn't look too bad yet. Yeah, if you just don't look at it, it's fine. Yeah, I stand by my statement. If you don't look at it, it's fine. Uh, we can always, in the next episode, unlock our one-way roads. One-way roads. Gravel one-way roads, but let's start. But I do need to leave this episode here. So, can you do me a favor? As I said, the first episode of a new series, very, very, uh, very, very, very much appreciate. The more engagement I can get, the better. Always helps with brand new, always helps out with a brand new series. So, you should leave me a comment. Leave me a comment on, uh, what you think we can do better. Uh... How, put your prediction down for how many episodes we get before we have to build roundabouts because I'm pretty sure they're going to be a requirement at least they are in a lot of Australia uh, and with all that said I'm going to leave this episode here so thank you guys so much for watching do hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the very next video alright bye